soft kissed your lips and climbed your nose and another nose. Ah, now I know where you are. Now when I remember the spring. Yeah. <laughs> I never walked through. How do you like this alone? Oh, it's great. Huh? I never walked through a swinging door before. I want to tell you something. If we had this in New York, we'd run the 21 now. You want to go into business? Sure. Uh, would you? I want to tell you one thing, though. Let's get the fellas in 21 to go in business with us. The Crindlers? Yeah, the Burns? They, they know something about running that And they got the other too. Let's walk this way. Where? Right here. This is your town, Duke. I want to tell you something. I haven't had much chance to use that barber shop lately. <laughs> I wouldn't open that door too fast. Hey. What? We're in the wrong seat? Uh, would you move over here, please? We're getting stage directions. Oh, geez. I guess you got a bad side. No. <laughs> would you care to vote on our sides? Hey, Duke, this is great. I've never been on a Western set like this before. Well, I'm awful sorry you didn't come here when we had something going. Get a fight seat and go, right? Yeah. What's it like? Well, you promised to come back for us. Huh? At least photograph. No, I'm going to go see War Wagon. That's how I'll see the fight seat. No, I want you to see how we do it. Yeah. Man, I want to... But say somebody that. told me that you get flattened. Always. By an Indian. Always. Is Jeez, that the trick the in Indians Western? always win. I have never seen... Listen, the... I got this in South Vietnam. Do you know why? Why? I always let the Indians win. The Indians gave me The this. Indians have never won in a Western. Oh, stop all that stuff. What do you mean? They won in this one. Yeah. How many Westerns have you made in your life? Well, let's see. I've made about 200 pictures, I guess, 199. I'm going to make a flat statement that I have never made on my show before. Yeah? You are my favorite actor in motion pictures. And You've you know lost something? your mind. No, I'm not. I am serious. And, and still, you're not an actor because... The way we're talking now and the way we talked in there and we were sitting around, yeah. you are exactly the same on the screen. Oh, no. Geez, lots of times I, I kill people. Oh, no, but that, that's a little, that's an added touch. Yeah, but you're you, right. And you have no method? You're not a method actor. No, actually, the fellow that de invented that method thing said that Coop and I were the best method actors. That's right. Know. But we, we use and our Wallace, own tricks. Wallace Beery. We use our own tricks. Beery was wiping his nose and picking a little. Well, before the actor's studio. studio. Right. But but the thing is that they're all copying that uh, poor guy that uh, played in the Mutiny on the Valley, was he? Brando. Yeah. We need those. They things. all copy him. Yeah. This guy is great. But they all copy him, so he looks like a, you know, he looks like a method player. Nobody copied Coop. And certainly nobody's been stupid enough to copy me. Every comedian has. Oh, all man. the impressionists. Maybe. Of all the films you've made, Duke, you got, uh, John Wayne has got to have one favorite, right? Yes, I, I think I told you before on that. And what? what did I say? You know, I don't know which one to say now. Who am I working for at this time? You Stage know, coach the favorite? To... Actually, I think my favorite was She Wore a Yellow Ribbon. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Right. Uh, I did a pretty good job there. High and the Mighty wasn't bad. No, High and the Mighty was a great picture, but it wasn't necessarily... I can drive people me. crazy on airlines just by quietly sitting in the back and going... I finally learned that tune. You know, they had to hire a guy to whistle for me because I can't whistle. <laughs> Did they? Yeah. No. Has this been fun for you? Everything is fun. You're a little Mexican-oriented, aren't you? I live every day has got to be a good day. But when John Wayne is not in front of a camera, uh, what is a John Wayne? I didn't know what we were in it? front of a camera until about two minutes ago. You, you know, I thought we were having fun. You spent fun. your whole life in front of you a camera. Do you remember the way you were drinking out there before I, the camera turned yes. on? Bring me I more orange juice. Wonderful. More orange juice. I don't drink. Chew. Two. Duke, what is... Uh, nobody knows what John Wayne is when he isn't in front of a camera. You've made so many films, you spend every working day in front of a camera, right? Every working day, naturally. Yeah. I mean, where on would you have me spend them? No, but on, on your non-working days, what does John Wayne do? 
I do the same thing I do on my working days, except I do them with fun. When you're working, it isn't fun. When you're... No, I'm kidding. Are you I a just fisherman? Love fun. Are you a, a traveler? Are you an athlete? Well, I'm not a fellow traveler, but I... <laughs> I, I get around. Yeah, right. And I do love to fish, and I have been known to hunt. As a matter of fact, this is how I started to know this country. I came down here back in about 1934 in Sonora to hunt, and uh, at that time they were having a little trouble about religion, and they had uh, bars across the doors in the yeah. Catholic Church. And the strange thing was after putting the bars across in the Catholic Church, then they wouldn't let you drink anything but beer. So I found this a pretty unattractive place. But there's an affinity between you and this country. And, Miss, and the fact that Mrs. Wayne is of Spanish descent. No, but she's not. A, she's not a Mexican, although I am the only Mexican in my family. I'm puro Mexicano. I love these people down here. I've spent a great deal of time here, and the only thing that I'm sorry about is that I can't learn the language. You don't speak a word? No, I'm pretty good in mathematics, but language is real rough. I have a But I noticed in English. English. When you talk, they listen. Yeah, because I talk loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, sh I know we shouldn't talk about things in the future, but I know the next project, because I read it down here today in the paper. In Mexico, Where's that? Is Green Berets. Yeah, I hope I can be given this opportunity, because it's... Uh, I think they're great people. They carry down a a quiet war before everybody got all upset and knew about it. They were doing a great job for us, and the people over there appreciate them. Where would you shoot Green Bay? Where the Defense Department will allow. Do you think they'll allow you to shoot in Vietnam? Oh, God, I hope not. Just can you imagine shooting some phony bullets over there and having... I gotta tell you something. My nephew just came back from Vietnam. Uh -huh. He's a Marine private. Yeah. One of the greatest thrills they, they've had is the fact that you came over there and went to all of those places. You didn't fool around just going to Saigon. You went to all the little outposts. You're kidding. He was thrilled. Really? To, right. And you went everywhere and said hello to all the guys. I think that's marvelous. I appreciate that more than anything you could say to me. You love going there, didn't you? Yeah, gosh darn right. Attaboy. <laughs>